This article presents a study that looked at the use of virtual humans to assess communication skills. Virtual humans are realistic, computer-generated characters that mimic a real conversation. In this study, we use them to assess communication skills among medical residents. Spoken communication skills are hard to assess in an authentic way without having some sort of conversation. So we often have highly trained individuals called standardized patient instructors who are like actors coming in with a program scenario. We judge communication skills based on the encounter. Standardized patient instructors are wonderful. A couple of problems though are the cost of paying individuals, the need to make sure standardized patient instructors are consistent with each other, and the fact that they're human. Repeating it over and over in a day can be fatiguing. Basically, we need to make sure that communication skills we detect reflect actual skills of the provider and minimize the influence of our standardized patient assessors. However, what if we can use technology that never becomes tired, is always consistent, and keeps costs down? So virtual human technology allows people to have a conversation with the virtual human through a series of interactions. The virtual human talks, the learners select or says a response, and based on the response, the conversation may escalate or de-escalate. The virtual human technology is called empathic VR. The per this particular research study is part of a bigger research program to develop empathic as a comprehensive communication training program. So we conducted this validation study of virtual humans for the assessment of empathic communication skills. The data collection occurred in a medical school in the Midwestern United States. In this study, we tested a scenario in which the learner had to break bad news about a cancer diagnosis. One group first went through empathic to assess baseline skills, and then went to an in-person communication training called WeTalk, and then went through empathic again as a post-test. We found better scores post-training than pre-training and that was statistically significant. Because we were worried about whether going through empathic first could sensitize people to the assessment, we used a research design in which another group goes through the in-person WeChalk training and then goes through empathic only as a post-test. We compared the post-test scores for the two groups and found they were similar. To our knowledge, this is one of the first studies of virtual humans for the assessment of communication skills. The virtual humans give us a reliable and less costly alternative to assess communication. The results were encouraging, so we want to continue to refine and research the technology.